Was so. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. Mm. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright stubborn she appears somewhat immune to conrad's charms so far at least i get catchy let me reassure you you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on you're doing well flissen and jay or jaya So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. So needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some. And then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. It so, be. how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of building a career with my own name. I was kind of thinking I'd just stick with that. Well, sure. You can always have a professional name, like a stage name, and then your real name. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're not having second thoughts, are you? No, of course not. A lot of women keep their own name now. And don't forget, it's the bride's family that usually foots the bill, so I've just been thinking about the best way to pitch it to my dad. Great. Intentional. Right. If your dad pulls out all the stops and we have the wedding of the century, people are going to think I married you for your money. No, oh, I was hoping they'd think you married me for my hot bod. Julia. Alex, the money thing really doesn't bother me, but it clearly bothers you. And that's a problem for me. What does that mean? Should I do something? Honestly, I don't know. But we're here, you know? And we made this commitment, so let's just be here, in the moment. And maybe it'll work out? In the moment? Yeah. Sure. All right. I can't deal with this right now. Alex. Where's my brother? I, I don't know. Oh, you've been saying that a lot. Just 결혼. stop. Let me go find him. Hey, my uh, no, I got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Mm hmm. Mm Alexa kennt ja Brede, Prise und Rede. We Prise ran we auch wann ich hier auch na ja na 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 ja ja. Alright, 
Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Navigator? So, uh, uh, Would the case ago or there? Honestly, been carrying that around for a while. Yogi? Ah, Yogi, da muss ein Pangi, ne? Pangi. Ah. Pacific Ocean. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You okay. should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Uh, Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here. In an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse <coughs> stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <sighs> he of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twists. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine, then it was a meat hook. They were slashed <laughs> with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet opens the door and sure enough 
There's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. What the? <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh. Super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. It's pretty cool. Hit me on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and for good, buddy. And I'm. Oh. Adamuri. If the weather is in the sea, it will not be good for us. The Duke of Milan. Team, go head over to the Alka. Listen, Nadia. Ah, Taida. Uh, Image Purajugi. Listen, listen, listen. I think so. Listen, Jogu, me and Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? 
to get out of here. We're all out of danger. Bro, Jogi. Guys, we got to get untied right now. Come here. Oh, shit. It's not good. Ich bin wie Jota zum Oh, so ein Jammer nur das so. I'll be back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Sonnere Dianen Bubble an, genau. One arm game, oh ja. What do you fuckers want? Hm? Slow down. Easy. Young Mogger. Fuck you! I'm gonna kill you! We finish with him later. Nice, 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 nice. My brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, we can take him by surprise. Okay. They're coming. Huh? So I'm just about Hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have? Alex, I'm so sorry. Napsi? What is it? They took my ring. Julia, it's okay. It's okay. Kavi Mugiro Semen Otoka. You do Plishi or the Otoke. They 
eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Hmm. 저 상놈들을 혼좀 놔야 해. These fuckers need to pay. We gotta take them down. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. <laughs> Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. Mm, I, I'm, I'm doing good. Well, okay. Conrad, go to the other side. We'll hit him together. Oh. Ah. Ah, the rhythm game is starting. Bang! Noise. Oh. You're pretty stupid. Moja said, "Nigga, what are you?" You win. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. I can't believe that Moja said that person was Kishin. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goat? <laughs> Listen, Fana boy. Pure Tommy boy. Someone had to take the reins. I wasn't just gonna sit around and do nothing. All right, shut the fuck up. Diva, Diva, we didn't get to Diva, Junius. There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. Huh? These guys, they travel in the same waters. Oh, Chugurat, nothing no more. Captain, they barely laid a hand on her. I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Ah, Rotiana. 
I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, so. What a cork in it. Pero que yo. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy? And there'll be consequences. PC한 거 해봅시다. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Um, boom. Don't make jokes. Hey, move it now. Thanks, I guess. What happened? Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Brad is under the bunk bed. No, just kind of in a whisper. Ixa, I don't know. Ixa? Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Oh, 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 oh,